Hold on. Something needs to be done about this background. Boop. Hello one, hello all. It's the Gothius goes to the ball, cast in the flesh, and it's time for a review of Key Glock Glaucoma 2. Key Glock is a Memphis rapper, and this is the latest and second installment of his series, I think it's series, of Glaucoma. The first one was released back in 2018, and honestly, it didn't blow me away, but I did see the potential there. I just felt like it lacked personality. I did feel like it lacked the grit, and it wasn't really as compelling as his later release, Glaucoma 2. And granted, this is the bonus deluxe version, which I think is the best version, which is kind of strange, or not, not really, but first time around, thought it was pretty good. And then listening to the bonus version, I was like, eh, it's longer, but is it better? Yeah. Yeah, it's better. After giving this numerous listens, because I listened to this numerous times, he really is very slick on the mic and has a heavy Memphis accent. This dude is Memphis as Memphis could be. Now, do I wish there was a little bit of horrorcore here that kind of shared influences from the likes of this 3-6 Mafia? Sure. But I feel you get a little bit of that here. You get some Memphis Stomps type tracks here and there, like something Juicy J or even like later 3-6 Mafia would do. But mostly this thing is very much to the point, but it's to the point in a very clever way and we'll get to that. And I do feel he stepped it up immensely. Now you don't have to like Key Glock. I get it. He does rap about things that have already been rapped about. But one thing you should give him credit for is how he just went in this solo dolo, no features whatsoever, just him. Because this is a man on a mission with ambition. Oh, so stealing my job as a reviewer wasn't enough for you. You had to steal my job as a rapper too. You just had to steal my job as a rapper too. Okay. 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 I got something for you. I got something for you. I got something for you. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sleep with the door closed tonight. But yeah, this guy went in no features. If you didn't already notice on the track, fuck a feature. I would say for the most part, these tracks on here do have good duration. There is a lot of them though. Like this album is almost a little bit over an hour. Longest track on here being three minutes and 19 seconds which would be the song Dirt, about people trying to put dirt on his name and how he could care less about the fame. He just wants the money. He just wants to prosper with these ticking hi-hats, crispy claps, classic soul samples with these lush loop strings and a very laid back but still very charismatic flow with a mix of choppy and triplet flows with simple but effective bars like worm i'm about my money and i'll smoke your ass like craig which comes off as a simple bar but once you put into context what the movie was about and what worm was putting out there in, in terms of a threat you realize the genius within this bar and like i said when it comes to the topics do not expect anything too deep like he's not out here writing philosophical or political bars here it's pretty much street shit it's pretty much that hard memphis street shit mostly with key glock you're getting bars about guns drugs sex but when he raps about it though He's definitely rapping about it, not from a glorification of violence perspective. He's rapping more from a perseverance perspective. And given how he's lost his cousin in the past year, it's really no surprise why. Like he's just out here just trying to make it focused on getting his money and just, and just prospering as an artist and as an individual which he definitely expresses on the track, fuck that shit. Where again, he has no concerns for fame. Where again, he has no concerns for fame. He just wants the money, which is really a very relatable bar, which is kind of how I feel with this YouTube video. Not, not to make this about me, but when it comes to the YouTube channel, 
I just want money. I just want the money, but I also want to introduce you to music you've probably never heard of and make a living doing that, because it's hard out here. And yes, he does come through with his occasional flex bar, but damn if it ain't clever. And same with the gun talk too, like, and definitely getting creative with the production, working in hand claps throughout this album. And you know how I love that raw percussion, where he's rapping about his motivation, where he's rapping about how he feels someone who he's lost is motivating him from beyond the grave. And it makes me believe that it could be Dolph. He's not exactly saying whom, although he does mention Dolph here. It could be anybody. But still, I do dig that sentiment, and this track goes hard. The song Two for One, which doesn't lie here because there is a beat switch up within this, so you're basically getting two beats for one. Starting off with this hard Memphis stomp style production that goes into a bluesy piano back type track with one slick bar after the next, with a lot of flow switch ups here going from speedy to galloping to something steady and hard. When it comes to the samples, there are some very nice samples here. One that sticks out to me well, a few stick out to me, but there's only so much I could say in one video. And a nice exuberant switch up of the classic soul track, Sideshow by Magic, which is very exuberant with these twittering hi-hats, with these low pitch vocal bits and bubbly pluck strings that are sampled through the track, with these vocal chirps from key, with a very solid hook on Pop My Shit. Designer Down has this classic Memphis Designer Down has this classic Memphis feel to it with these ominous piano samples and menacing keys. And vocally, he's very slick throughout this thing. He's very slick, very cold-blooded, very focused, as I mentioned before, and approaches this with such confidence. He doesn't have much, and granted, he doesn't have much in terms of projection when it comes to the leads, but he does have these shouted background vocals, these shouted background ad-libs. Yeah! Production-wise, I would say this is the most diverse on here, where we get this sample that sounds so epic, so haunting, sounds so epic and haunting from Ukrainian folk band Yurchowanya, which I'm pronouncing horribly, by the way. So yeah, mostly this thing is just loaded with bangers, one clever bar after the next, and a lot of booming beats on here, a lot of southern flavor. The only track I probably didn't really get into much, and mainly because it was pretty much a mess and honestly didn't really last long for me to even really get into it, was Keyrex. But other than that, this thing has a lot of highlights. Another one I want to touch on too is In and Out of Town, which has this buzzing bass on here that is just straight up Memphis, straight up Memphis style on this shit. But yeah, I mean, honestly, I love this album. I think it's great definitely his best so far again lyrically very clever production bangs but i do wish there was like more in terms of topic here going into a little deeper a little more introspection but other than that i think this is good i think this is a good project i'm feeling a four five out of five on this album if you've given this a listen what did you think of it did you love it did you hate it why let me know caspa gothic ghost Key Glock, Glaucoma 2, till we meet again.